Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to upgrade your Blue Life 8 to Android 5.1 Lollipop. I am currently running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. And uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So just ensure that you have these files copied to your phone. Okay, so first of all, we need root access in order to install the top IM image. And you realize I am not using SP Flash tool today, so today this would be a non PC video, so we won't be using the computer. So let's go to King Root and uh, let's get root access. So swipe up. Okay, let's just give this some time. Okay. So it's verifying the device status and says root access is unavailable. Just ignore that message. Just tap try to root and it will root successfully. I guarantee you that. So just give it some time to take about two minutes or less. So let's just wait. Okay, so I got this message. Now it asks Google may regularly check install apps for potentially harmful behavior. So tap on decline and then uh, let's just see what happens next. So it's now on 61% and uh, root successfully. Okay, so now that we have root, no, we do not want to share with our friends. Now that we have root access, let's go back to our home screen and go on to the official Twop app. So tap I agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, still decline this. Okay. So run with root permissions and tap OK. Now go to Twop Flash. And let's just wait for the key root prompt and then allow. 
and then you should see this option here. so tap on select file to flash select sd card 0 go all the way down to your folder where you have the files copied and select the tool image now select and flash to recovery okay and it's done so press ok power off okay now we enter in recovery mode so volume and power and um, sorry power and volume up now release the power button and keep on holding the volume up now release volume up okay so now we're in top recovery before we continue let's do a backup now this is very very important we never know um, what may happen so um, most importantly let's back up our NVRAM and not including these two let's uh, include our boot image okay now swipe to backup okay and the NVRAM is very important because uh, it's what stores the IMEI and the um, very the important information about the phone so just ensure that anytime you're doing anything like this, just ensure that you back up this because it could be um, necessary if you were to reinstall your firmware. Okay, so go to install and tap up here and uh, select internal storage. Okay, go all the way down to ROM, that's the folder I have, and uh, select this now you realize that I do not have G apps I do not have G apps because this ROM comes with all the Google apps installed well specifically the Google Play Store so swipe to confirm flash Okay, now it's done. So go back to your home screen and go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. So this wipes the data cache and the download cache. So swipe to factory reset. All right, so it's done. So go back home and reboot system. As you can see the boot animation eh? new boot animation and right now let me just take the opportunity to acknowledge all those uh, developers at xda developers really they really um help us because you see when you will uh, look at it um you your phone cannot update 200 lollipop so your manufacturer probably for one reason or the other did not roll out the update and you want to update it to android lollipop or any other android version you go you simply go to xda and you find a thread and here you go you get it that's the case for most devices so we should really take the time you know to acknowledge those developers and right now that's what i'm doing i'm thanking all of them you know for doing a very very good job and i want to say right now thank you to all these developers at xda so guys i think you should really acknowledge them for doing a very good job because it takes a lot of time a lot of work to put these things together the boot is complete and uh, right now it's just 
uh, saying uh, AICP is upgrading. I guess that's the name of the custom ROM. Okay, so the process is complete. Now let's go for the setup wizard. So you can see greeted there by this welcome message. You can see that your language. So tap next. And let's go for the setup wizard. So let me just wait so that we can confirm that the Wi Fi is working. Okay, so the Wi Fi is working. So let's skip this. Okay, and we're done okay so before before I end the video let me just go through a few stuff before I continue so let me connect to Wi-Fi to see okay, the Wi-Fi is connected All right. Now let's go to camera, I'll just go to the camera, okay, camera working, okay, focus, let me try the selfie camera, okay, selfie camera works, check, okay, let me go to the browser, browser works, let's see how it goes onto Google, alright, that works. Alright, so guys, you can check everything else on your own. My battery is down to 1%. Okay, so Android 5.1. Very, even, it works even better than the Android Jelly Bean. So, alright, so I'll end there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you. And, um, of course, if I did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my, ch my channel to show your support and share the video with others so once again thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in another video thanks for watching and remember if you like the video hit that subscribe button above my head below wherever it is just hit that subscribe button to show your support like the video share the video and uh, thank you very much for watching my video